Known as a blood moon, the moon will be taking on a red glow early Tuesday morning during a total eclipse. This happens when the moon passes entirely into the Earth's shadow. Due to the Earth's atmosphere, the sun's light takes on a red hue, which gives the moon its iconic glow. David Dixon from the South Carolina State Museum says you should get out and take a look because this is the last time we will see this for a long time. We've seen two this year. Uh, the next one what we're going to see isn't until 2025, so this is your chance to see it for the next three years. Unlike the lunar eclipse back in May, this one will be occurring in the early morning, which will keep us from viewing the entire eclipse and will make things just a little bit harder to see. Looking to the west tomorrow morning, you'll be able to see the moon just over the horizon. Some key tips this time around though. With clear conditions, weather will not get in the way, but nearby trees or buildings can. So get out to a clear area like a field or on a higher story of a building to see the eclipse. Main viewing for this event will be between 4 and 6 a.m. with the best view of the eclipse happening right around 5. If you miss this event, don't worry. David says there's plenty to look forward to this month and into December. Always something interesting to see in the night sky. As we head into December, a whole lot of planets are going to be coming up in being bright and beautiful in our night sky, including Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, even Mars as we head into December. If these late nights or early mornings are just a bit too much, you always have other options as well. We have an observatory on the fourth floor with solar observing. You can stare at the sun very safely. You can also take a trip uh, behind me to our planetarium. We got a lot of experiences. Make a day of it. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's not as early. From Columbia, I'm News 19 WLTX meteorologist Corey Smith.